Welcome to the Big Success Show. Today, we'll share five quotes on what makes life meaningful. Big Success with the Professor and Mary Lynn. We love quotes here at Big Success, and we've pulled together five that we feel truly illustrate what makes life meaningful. Hi, I'm George Kruger, a.k.a. The Professor. I'm Mary Lynn. We say big success, and that's big with two Gs, is peace of mind, which flows from three sources. Finding and fulfilling your calling. Striving daily to fulfill your full potential. Staying true to your vision, mission, and values. So success doesn't just come from life's definition, which Mm -hmm. often revolves around titles and money and material possessions. Yeah, instead it comes from your definition. What is your personal vision of big success? What is your personal mission? What are your personal values? What are your goals? And what are you doing every day to accomplish them? These things all produce peace of mind, which results in a life lived with meaning. So let's pull out the professor's whiteboard for five tips on what makes life meaningful. Uh, George, you and I need to have a meaningful talk about the condition of this closet. <laughs> I think you're right, Mary Lynn. I don't know what else to say. It's you're right pretty bad. over there. <laughs> All right. So five tips along with five quotes on what makes life meaningful. Number one, find your own path. Charles Caleb Cotton said, happiness, that grand mistress of the ceremonies in the dance of life, impels us through all its mazes and meanderings, but leads none of us by the same route. That's That's a powerful quote. It is. It's very colorful language, is it not? That's actually hard to recite. It is. But, you know, (laughs) what the point is, it's okay to look for models. And I think we often are encouraged to look for models. Right. I mean, we look for models, especially when you're doing something new. It's good to do that. But here's the thing. You have to understand not just how other people achieve success, but that you have to be prepared for the things that you're going to face, which are probably going to be different than what they faced. Right. The model that you're emulating can only go so far. Yeah. And, and as uh, as our friend Chris Brogan said in a newsletter the other day, think about the framework, not the, not the formula. Mm-hmm. You know, I think if you're looking for frameworks, that's good because it, it allows for that flexibility when things are different. But, they're, but the, the formulas are hard to come by. Right. Because and, things change so fast. And Chris is a very successful entrepreneur. I mean, he's done amazing things and he's he's just so forward thinking mm-hmm. and he's a visionary. Yes, he is. He really is. And we've been following Chris for a very long time. Since before the beginning of the Big Success Show. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But we have you know, followed Chris's advice and that's helped us be the business that we are today. Yeah. And so you find the path that you're looking for by looking at the convergence of your past choices past experiences, and your perceptions. So look at how the past is connecting you to your present and what that means for your future. It all just works together, doesn't it? It sure does, does Mary Lynn. All right, moving on to tip two, which is take charge. Hey, I'm going to really go out to the ball game now, Mary Lynn. Charge! <laughs> Give me some pe- peanuts and well, Cracker Jack. <laughs> <laughs> well, this tip is inspired not by that organist, but um, (laughs) by a quote from William H. Johnson, which is, if it is to be, it is up to me. Me? (laughs) No, No, you. Me. Oh, you. Okay. (laughs) No, you. (laughs) Me. (laughs) It's all about you, baby. So you are the entrepreneur of your own enterprise, your life. We think that we can't control everything, and we can't. But in everything, there are some things that we can control. And perhaps the main one, if nothing else, we can control how we respond. And that's how we take charge, is by controlling our response and then being proactive as we move forward. All right. Tip number three, advance with confidence. And Henry David Thoreau said, if one advances confidently, In the direction of one's dreams and endeavors to live the life which one has imagined, one will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. I know we said that all of these were our favorite quotes. This is one of my all-time favorite quotes ever. I mean, I just, I think I saw this early on in my life as almost a kid, you know, like teenage years, Mm. and it's stuck with me ever since. Like, I don't exactly have it memorized per se, but I have the thoughts in my head. It, It really comes down to step one. 
imagine the life you want. Step two, advance de- de- uh, confidently toward it. And step three, enjoy your big success. And that is definitely big with two G's. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it's not just that simple, is it? I mean, come on. Well, once you've figured out what you want your life to look like and you have that direction, mm. it really is a matter of just staying focused, which is incredibly difficult, right. and persisting, which is incredibly difficult. Right. <laughs> but the thing is, the, 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 the framework is absolutely 100% on target. It's just a matter of making sure that you do keep your eye on the ball and then just, as the old saying goes, knock down seven, get up eight. Yep. And keep charging forward. Gotta keep charging. No, 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 I just want to hasten to add, though. When yeah. I say keep charging, yes. I'm not talking about credit cards. Oh. <laughs> yes. No, no, keep no, the do credit card in the billfold, right? Or in the purse. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> okay. So uh, tip four today, we're talking about uh, you know five tips for a meaningful life. Tip four is to make a decision. And the quote that inspired this tip comes from Ralph Waldo Emerson. He says, when you make a decision, the universe conspires to make it happen. Yeah, you know, success really all comes down to making a decision. It's Mm -hmm. really just that. A lot of people resist making major decisions. Because then you have to be held accountable to it. You have to be held accountable to it, yes. Now i got to do it. (laughs) But those who do make decisions gain an advantage. Those who do make decisions gain an advantage. Mm. By deciding and moving forward. So it's not just deciding. we got to act then, but right. we can't act until we decide. But by deciding and moving forward, they attract resources and relationships that are needed to be a big success. And that's big with two Gs, baby. Uh-huh. I, I think a lot of people get bogged down on mm-hmm. the how to make it happen. So I made a True. decision. Now I've got to figure out how to make it happen. So how do you make sure that you don't, get trapped and wrapped up in the how the roadblock here is often that people think they have to know everything. Mm. And I, you know, I'm one of those people who like there are different ways people shop, you know, like some people, you and I tend to shop alike. We tend to go in, figure out, we know what we want. When we go in, we go into the store, we look just for that one thing. We, we pick it up. We look at the price tag, we try it on or whatever, and we're out the door. Mm-hmm. But some people like to look at every single thing on every single rack before mm-hmm. they make their decision. You can't know everything before you make decisions. It just doesn't work that way. Life is bigger than a store. Mm-hmm. So, so you can't know everything, and that's one of the things that this quote really does bring to light. But you can still make a decision knowing that you can make adjustments to your plan along the way. And I think that's the key thing is just understand, I'm going to make the best decision I have today, or I'm going to make the best decision I can today, given what I know and then, if new revela- if new revelations come to, come to you know to the lie, foreground, right. then I'm go- then I'll make adjustments once I know more. But a lot of this also comes into having faith in yourself. Right? Absolutely, you made this decision. There's a reason that you made this decision. Trust, you know, through faith and and by taking that action and moving forward, the things that you need mm-hmm. will be provided. Absolutely, and and just trusting that. All things truly do work together for good. We're to our final tip now on how to make life meaningful. And tip number five is to live with no regrets. And this is a powerful quote from John Greenleaf Whittier. For all sad words of tongue and pen, the saddest are these. It might have been. Mm. That is powerful, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it just... uh, You don't want to look back and say, well, uh, what it might have been if I'd have just... Yes. Had the guts to do this. Right, right. If I had just gone for it. Well, it makes us think, makes me think, Marilyn, of uh, Bronnie Rare, who we, we did a post or we did a show on. And oh, the five biggest regrets. So Bronnie is an author and she and interviewed. A nurse. And a nurse. And mm-hmm. she interviewed people who were dying. Mm-hmm. And She's um, actually a nurse to dying people. So, right. I mean, and she asked them, what's their biggest regret? Right. And they were willing to share because they wanted to pass that information on to us. And we've got a link to the uh, to that very powerful post in uh, your show notes with this one. And so the biggest regret is not living a life true to themselves. Mm -hmm. That's what they said. So the regrets of what we wish we would have done tend to hit us harder than those regrets of what we did do. So, you know, the key thing here, to, the key takeaway, I think, is don't let it might have been, as the poet says, mm. don't let it might have been 
be your anthem. Boy, that's an anthem for a lot of people. Don't let it might have been be your anthem. Don't look back on life saying, I wish I had, I wish I had, I wish I had. I wish I had done this. I wish I had done that. If only I had done something different. Rather, look back with a smile in your heart as you proclaim, I'm glad I did. (laughs) And I did it my way. (laughs) That's right. Okay. So let's review five tips on what makes life meaningful. Number one is find your own path. Yes, there are models out there that you will follow that will help you set your framework, but you have to set your own path. Number two, take charge. It is up to you. You are the entrepreneur of your own enterprise. Number three, advance with confidence. You have to stay focused and be persistent. Number four, make a decision. Everything boils down to that decision that you make. Make that decision to move forward. And then number five, Live with no regrets. Don't let your anthem be. It might have been. So take these five points to help you stay focused on moving forward to the life you dream of living, a life full of meaning and fulfillment. That's big success. Are you trying to figure out what makes life meaningful to you? We've got a free life purpose quiz that can help. You'll find it at Big Success. That's big with two G's, success.com. Join us next time. We're going to take some elements from this show and pull them into our next show, which is all about three keys to create your best self. Boy, I got a lot of work to do. (laughs) Well, study up. (laughs) And join us next time. We'd love to see you. And thank you so much for listening today. Until next time, here's here's to to your your big big success. success. Find big success at BIGGSuccess.com. 